everyone it's me virginia welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome uh, i'm so grateful to all of you who have uh, come and joined me today and i'm so excited to finally be able to share this uh, a flip through of this uh, two round tin mini journals that i have been working on for so long so i have actually created uh, four Thin journals, most uh, basically pretty much the same, but the other two I have used a different creator's um, kits. So, but I've also used uh, Heather's kits as I was pointing out on that one, and I'll uh, share that in another video. And welcome to Ruby Tuesday. So, for this uh, project, I am sharing, I created two mini round tin journals, and as you can see, it's a sun and moon uh, journal. So, I think I'll just explain as I go with the flip through of this. Uh, you know, if you are, and I know most of you are uh, Heather's uh, Ruby and Pearl uh, fan, you know that she has that uh, La Luna kit. And that's basically my uh, inspiration for this. And, you know, I have affinity for uh, celestial things. As you can tell, my social media name is uh, celestial in nature so but la luna the doesn't really have much of a sun but i want to create a sun uh, themed journal to go with this so the way i created this is um, i use colors that mimics the sun or i think you know what i mean <laughs> So for what I did with the tins are I painted them, mostly the background, and uh, collaged them with or decoupaged them with images from the kits. I think this kit was from the Raspberry Rose, and the main inspiration is that old Solo Mio uh, from, I think it's a music uh, cover from the letters, uh, blue and green letters. And I've been wanting to do that since I uh, found that uh, image there. I was showing earlier the lid where the part that uh, meets the lid and the big part of the tin. I did not paint that because it will be uh, hard to uh, cover because it will uh, thicken if I paint that part on both sides. So I'm showing right now the painted image of a sunset. So on the back of the tin I put the sunrise and here is a uh, mixed media painting of the sunset where I used a tea bag. I'm trying to point out but uh, I have the wrong angle and I collage or decoupage uh, images of the birds from her I think that's from the golden dress. I'll try to list them. On the cover I did that rotating sun uh, feature I forgot I'm like uh, behind so um, here's the flip through of the journal so I'm showing there's a charm that uh, it's a metallic bottom that I added there as a charm for the closure. There's a very pale yellow and that uh, little brass uh, bird in a circle, kind of like mimics the one that uh, I painted. Uh. So for the cover, what I did with the journal is it's like a, every sheet is a single si uh, signature that I stitch or bind together using a it's a modified uh, two hole pamphlet stitch um, i've been trying to re-record re re-record trying to explain so if you just have questions just call uh, ask in the comment if uh, and right now i'll just go ahead um, i picked the image for the front cover which is uh, from the love and light of course uh, the title of the kit is love and light and it goes with the theme of uh, the sun. So I think, and most of the uh, images and prints are inspired by the colors of the color of the sun. And a uh, majority of the uh, prints are from her golden dress and some from uh, the golden leaves. And I think maybe I have a little bit more from others that I picked the yellows, the browns, and uh, I mix in some uh, vintage paper, some uh, book pages in there. And this, I love this image from, I, I, I'm pretty sure that's from the golden 
dress or maybe yes so on in here I used um, the wax linen thread for the binding I have a little excess there and I put a little wax seal charm uh, I pick up the color mauve from that image from the golden dress and added a uh, rose heel paper handmade paper as a tuck pocket I'm showing a there's a quote here that says something about greeting the day with creativity gratitude and something so images from the two kits I mentioned a music paper um, I made a little uh, belly band there with a beautiful yellow lace and I have that uh, yellow vintage yellow ledger I think from rosil paper that I uh, decoupage a dried uh, chrysanthemum made a little belly band with a lace there that I tucked uh, my yellow handmade paper uh, I think embossed and I was showing there there was like little dots of uh, yellow punch papers that I incorporated in that handmade paper and a beautiful image I, also from uh, a beautiful uh, golden dress I backed it with tea stained the base of the signatures or the pages of the, this uh, book are scrapbook papers that uh, I had gotten hand-me-down and uh, I'm not gonna be using them so I uh, glued them with the images and prints from uh, the kits I have a little booklet here of uh, junk papers the, the cover is an antique wallpaper actually I'm showing here those are uh, the image uh, the whole image that I tore apart uh, a braille paper I tucked in there and some more images from the golden leaves I believe and I have this uh, magazine page from I think ideal of a sunset and I uh, cut it in half and use it somewhere reds the woods the browns I have that little uh, antique uh, French trim and I tucked the little butterfly that printed in two different papers I had to glue it together and I made a little antenna with a tiny bead from a little skinny wire look at that a Dutch uh, book page I glued inverted uh, dried uh, eucalyptus leaf uh, this is an uh, embossed vintage wallpaper but it's vinyl it's not like the the nice pretty paper okay and I put a little tuck out of the corner that I cut out it from a beautiful image from the kit and I made a little uh, little chateau that actually was originally for those I, I made uh, for all four of the journals with a little peek through window oh these images are so pretty I cut them I used them all up but I just stuck a few in this uh, particular journal more golden images another uh, vintage wallpaper with a sun embossing folder uh, tissue you know how the golden brown of the tissue I think the sewing pattern and I tucked a little um, folded antique uh, French letter or invoice and a little wine foil uh, that I glued in there oops having trouble folding the right way I've incorporated like vintage letters and envelopes in all four journals and folded it in a way so that <laughs> it will be there all uh, some tissue paper printed French uh, vintage um, copy paper I believe and a cluster of uh, rusted paper clip there with some sequins that's rectangular um, these are book pages of uh, 
yellow, orange, red tinge uh, flowers. I made a little booklet and tucks in there with the smaller uh, prints of those flowers. And another beautiful uh, image from uh, the two kits. I love that uh, the blue, gold, and browns. And this pretty image of the lady reading in her yellow golden dress. Um, another, I made two copies of those uh, of that front image, and I had a little plan that I changed my mind about <laughs> uh, vintage uh, French envelope that has a stamp of the sun from, I believe, Nice or going to Nice that I folded that way and um, decoupage dried uh, flower we're coming to an end and that's the sunset image the other half with a little poem about uh, our country we could uh, gesso it if you wanna or glue something over it if you prefer so the way I close this is a little tricky. It's a little slippery. It's an organza uh, ribbon. So after a, a couple of loop, I cross over and I, I'm showing in there. Okay. It's a little tricky and slippery because of the round nature of it, plus the organza. So kind of like make that loop. Uh, for each of these journals that I created, I made uh, a pack, a pouch of um, ephemeras that can be added, uh, maybe an, a tuck, an insert, clip, flip out um, to go with this journal or um, other uh, journals. Uh, it's uh, the the two fabric packs I have on the side. It's not done yet. I mean, the ephemeras are not fully done yet. As you could imagine, I have quite a bit of uh, scraps with this. So that's uh, my sunshine or solo mio. And this one, I call this uh, journal moon glows. As you can see, it's the moon. And the same thing I did. I did the painting, decoupage, collage keep interchanging those two and some sparkly uh, accents in there that may not be visible so for this particular one I made uh, this is actually the first uh, journal that I created I made that um, little peekaboo spinning disc uh, feature with uh, the changing faces of the moon and that I painted uh, watercolor i could say mixed media also i did a little bit of uh, embossing powder which is something that i was so excited about so i actually made a kind of a process video on how i created this uh feature for uh this four journals that i created actually the three and um hopefully i could uh upload it so i think for this um flip through I will just uh, leave it to music later on and if you just have uh, something you'd like to ask or to know just uh, ask me in uh, the comment like what I said I uh, recorded a process video hopefully let me know if you want to see that because it's quite long also and I have to like edit it and also uh, on this it's kind of uh, since this was the first one that I made, it's kind of like my prototype. The tins actually have a nice uh, artwork in them. Sub. They have like in the emb it's embossed metal, but I had to cover it because of the theme of the journal. So the inside, I tried to preserve it as much as I could, but it's the reverse figure. It doesn't show much, but I'll maybe try to uh, take pictures and post it on Instagram. So a little charm there. The, it's a nice bead and a moon uh, a star and a moon like this this particular journal is the very first one I created out of the four it's kind of like my prototype and I love it so much I made a lot of mistakes especially with the binding I think I've redone it like three or 
even four times until I finally came up with the improvised two whole length pamphlet stitched and then I wove in uh, because it's really wobbly and it's open spine but it doesn't look very pretty so I wove in that um, um, organza uh, binding so this particular one opens uh, on both sides uh, it has two spines the left and right and I'm showing uh, let me just mention that it's the print from uh, William Morris the black print that I printed uh, in three different papers this one is from uh, in a vellum the first one was in a cardstock that I painted with a little bit of a uh, metallic watercolor because you know the new moon well actually the start of this is a new moon because um, and a little info tidbit there about the new moon and how the phases of the moon uh, happen so this journal is actually chronologically sort of I may have made a mistake arranged in according to the phases of the moon and um, the moon phases that I had uh, as part uh, sections of this uh, journal I painted them watercolor painted them both the regular watercolor and some metallic watercolor on uh, uh, 300 GSM arches uh, watercolor paper so the back I did not uh, cover it with any prints because they can also be used for uh, watercoloring or sketching so I'll leave you to the flip through with the music and uh, just let me know if you have any questions uh, and I'll talk to you later
I just wanted to uh, mention something about the journal. Like I did gesture in the end that the ribbon closure can be cut in to ha uh, two so that the journal can be separated into two separate uh, books. But I wasn't quite sure. I don't know um, if someone in someone's interested in getting this. I could talk with you if you want to for me to permanently glue the last two pages so that it stays as one book or I'll leave the option with just paper clipping uh, on both ends so that uh, you have the option to split it eventually. And on uh, the bottom of the tin, I made a little uh, star shaker and put the coat from the kit the La Luna kit, uh, you look at the stars like they knew all their secrets. And I think it's a nice uh, ending to the journal or at the bottom of the kit. Like it's in, if it were a book, it was like the bookend. Um, also, I have another two uh, tin journals that I would be sharing in another video. Not quite sure, maybe sometime this week or uh, next week where I've also used um, the La Luna kit along with uh, another creator's uh, digital kit. So hopefully see you then. I hope you enjoyed uh, the flip throughs and uh, hope you got some inspiration from this and I re Lee, thank you for um, spending some time with me and it would also really mean a lot if you like the video and if you are new subscribe to my channel and I'd love to hear from all of you in the comment um, thank you wherever you are uh, you have a wonderful rest of your day